Hi everyone, MA from Geneva, and it's day 27 of virtual school experience, May 6th. And I am reporting back on what happened when I asked my students how they found the full class group writing feedback that I gave them in two short videos. So I did an eight minute video on process and a six minute video on the content of what was meant to be in this writing assignment. And I just asked them, how did it go? What did you like? What can be improved? So starting with the improvements, one student said that they prefer to use YouTube or Google Drive or some other format that they're used to because I sent them out to Loom and they found that uh, confusing to, to use video players of lots of different um, platforms. And uh, someone else said that they appreciated that the videos were short and that they were able to take pauses or that there were pauses built into the videos so that they have time to think and to reflect. And another person said that they would like to see an example, a model piece of what the writing is supposed to look like, but she said that that should come at the end because having it too early in the process would unduly influence her answers. And I usually provide them with exemplars, but do they know how to use them is another, is another story. Uh, one student said that she appreciated that they were short, not because so much about you know, attention, but she said, you didn't explain everything to us because when teachers do that, we stop listening and then we miss something that's important. So that was an interesting piece of feedback. Uh, the other student, I asked uh, how they felt about not moving on to a new piece, but rather sitting with this piece and taking another try at it. And one student said, well, it makes more sense that you would give us that kind of less detailed feedback, whole group feedback first, but then on the final that we really want the feedback personally. And so sticking with a project for longer will help with that. Uh, one student even said, quote, the longer you spend on something, the better it is. So there you have direct feedback right from the student's mouth and it really confirms what I kind of felt inside when I made that other 26 minute video and decided not to roll it out to them. It also confirms what the experts are telling us about attention and engagement of students in those uh, video screencasts. So. That's how that went, and I think I found a formula that works, and I'll stick with it.